Hey, what up, motherfuckers? I am showered, I am shaved, my teeth are brushed, I am smelling fantabulous, and you are listening to the debut of the Rainbow Family Podcast. Now, I know what you're saying. Hey, aren't rainbows owned by gay people? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, they are. But before gay people owned rainbows, they were used by psychotic religious cult leaders. See? We're learning things here today. Now anyway, to give you all a little background information and show you how all this ties in, basically, my name is Mr. Grape. Since 2004, I've been making electronic music in the Grape Kool-Aid experience, and there's always one question that I seem to get asked more than anything else. Mainly, who are you, why are you naked, and what the hell are you doing in my house? But after that, what I always get asked, is what the hell does the Grape Kool-Aid experience mean? Why the hell are you Mr. Grape? What the fuck is going on? Why are my testicles orange? And simply put, the answer is two words. Jim Jones. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google that shit, hit up Wiki, however the fuck you pronounce that garbage, and get you self educated But in all seriousness, there's actually a point to why I'm doing all of this. Within the past few years, there's been a string of artists, underground groups, Be they electropunk, be they 8-bit, be they just absolutely terrible fucking garbage that nobody wants to listen to, but they enjoy making music anyway. And basically, those bands are getting no love. So what I've decided to do is to dedicate this show to bringing you what some people might consider the worst in music going today. It's not Limp Bizkit, it's not Christina Aguilera, it's not whatever stupid fucking emo, screamo, indie rock bullshit garbage. And truth be told, it's going to cause a million lawsuits, a lot of e-drama, a lot of internet hatred, because I'm not getting any of this shit cleared, I'm not talking to any of these artists, I'm just going to promote a bunch of motherfuckers, and hopefully they appreciate it, and if not, they could travel down to Montreal, and punch me in the mouth, and it'll be funny, but with any luck, everyone listening will be introduced to a couple of new artists, everyone will have something new to listen to, and so basically let's just get to the first track. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Ripoffs with Pooh Monday.
Oh hell yeah! Now if you like that, you need to hit up www.myspace.com slash the ripoffs suck my ass. I am not even kidding, that's the address. So if you're not offended by shit, piss, blood, cum, and whatever the fuck else they sing about, in between ripping off every artist imaginable, check it out, there's tons of free downloads, and I might be able to guarantee that you don't get herpes visiting them. Maybe. Alright, so up next we're gonna go to another fun yet bizarre track. This one is Life is Easy by Electric Dragon. And remember, suck my cock, your guitars are fucked. Yeah! So how about them apples, huh? Like last time, if you like what you hear, hit up www.myspace.com slash electric dragon. Much like the ripoffs, there's tons of free downloads, and you've got to hear their cover of Glory Box by Portishead. And while you're at it, be sure to download their self-titled EP. And if you want to see something really cool, download it, open the booklet that comes with it, and notice how the Grape Kool-Aid experience is in fact spelled incorrectly. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks a lot. Anyways, with that out of the way, I think it's time that we get to our last song of the evening. This next song both represents and yet pisses on us all at the same time. This next song is called Fuck the Scene. And pay close attention, cause this song has got everyone on it. I mean seriously, if you listen carefully enough, Everyone is on this track. Hell, you're probably on this track. So anyways, without further ado, fuck the scene. Check it out. Wait. 
in the place of the same grace. Gonna school these suckers all up in your face. I'm too hot to handle like a Roman candle. Set the strike on fire, I'm a pyro scandal. Break it down fast, I'm hella tight. I might like your crying gang. Go all mad, or what's the matter? These dudes are shy, like a non friend singer. I'm so much better. Right, I'm a robot, my name is Kool Aid. Wait, right, listen to this, I'm getting hella faded. It's better to keep your style in the past. It's not my fault, all these songs are trash. One more thing that I'm ready to go. Fuck me, mother, on the microphone. Speaking of Rick Ross, let's try this blue. But why do y'all sound like MC Chris? So anyways, that concludes our broadcast day for the Rainbow Family Podcast, Episode 1. If you've got nothing better to do, please check out www.myspace.com slash the Grape Kool-Aid Experience. I'm not sure how often these podcasts will be going up, but keep checking back to all the various sites, and hopefully they won't be too far apart. I'm Mr. Grape, and I'll leave you with a little Tenacious D. Enjoy. This is the greatest and best song in the world. Tribute. Long time ago, me and my brother Kyle here, we was hitchhiking down a long and lonesome road. All of a sudden, there shined a shiny demon in the middle of the road. And he said, Play the best song world or I'll eat yourself well me and Kyle we looked at each other and we each said okay and we played the first thing that came to our heads just so happened to be to say the beast was stunned a whip crack went his rumpet tail and the beast was done he asked us be you angels and we said nay we are but men Tribute. Couldn't remember.
And the peculiar thing is this, my friends. The song we sang on that fateful night, it didn't actually sound anything like this song. 